now. Let me wind this thing now. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Jonah did not know. So, and he said, okay, the only way for this boat to go on, he gave them the option, throw me down. Throw me down. They said, no problem. They dragged him and they threw him down. The Bible said, and the Lord prepared the fish. The fish swallowed him. Am I communicating here today? It was in the belly of this fish. Three good days. That shows that his sinful nature died. His disobedient nature died within that day. These three days inside the belly of the fish. Let me show you what now delivered him. I preach scripture. Each verse 9 and verse 10. Jonah prayed a prayer. And we offer unto God with the voice of thanksgiving. That's chapter 2. And we sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving. Everybody read the other part. What did he say? I will pay that that I have. No, come on, talk. To, I will pay that that I have. That means on Sunday he made a vow. But he didn't know fish will swallow him on Monday. I will show you something. I will pay that that I have vowed. Salvation is of the Lord. Verse 9, now you get him. Now God take over in verse 10. Let us see what thing God do. Go to verse 10. Everybody read with me. And the Lord spake to the fish. And the Lord spake to the fish. And the Lord spake to the fish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. And it vomited. It vomited. It vomited. It vomited. Who spoke to the fish? Who spoke to the fish? What was the last thing that Jonah said? Can you see? Vow repositions you on top. Vow moves you out of the pit. Ladies and gentlemen, if Jonah did not... You know why God said fish vomit him? Because if the fish did digest Jonah, he will digest God's vow. The Bible say, and the Lord spoke to the fish. For me, this man now. And the Bible says he took him straight to the dry land. Where? His destination. He fast forward his destination. He did not need extra money again to get to his destination. Because if he did vomit him inside the river, another wicked fish will take over. After all, this fish, they hear God's voice. There are some fish when not agree here. <laughs> and the Lord speak to the fish. The last thing he did in verse 9, he said, Lord, I will pay what I have vowed. I will pay what I have vowed. Let, ladies and gentlemen, there is a day called the day of trouble. Nobody know him. But we serve a God of sudden and what? Immediately. Who can alter it? Note it. It was not Jonah that said to the fish, vomit me. It was not Jonah that said, fish, or you release me now. The fish will say, sorry. He that breaketh an edge. He with his fish swallow. Am I communicating here today? That was it. Immediately he said, I will pay that that I have vowed. If you read that vow, it's a past tense. With ED added to it. I pay that that I have vowed. In verse 10, God spoke to his problem. And he said to the problem, vomit this man. You must not digest him. Because after that third day, digestion would have started. Decaying would have started. Thank God he had a button to press. He had a button. He pressed the button. You don't pray, say, oh, Father, on these lights, you locate where the button is. Am I communicating here? Jonah had a button that he needed to press. And immediately he pressed it. There was result. I'm letting you know that grace has a way of repositioning you. There are age mates, there are no grace mates. You can always say, this is my age mate, this is my age mate, that's my age mate. But you never say, this is my grace mate. Tonight, grace will reposition you. Somebody is entering a new level. Who am I praying for there? You are entering a new level. Who am I praying for there? You are entering a new level. Who am I praying for there? You are entering a new level. If you are that person, shout, I am here. I am here. I'm letting you all know that grace can reposition you. 
grace can reposition your life. I don't know how things is messed up. I don't care what they told you, what the report says. Listen to me. Jesus went to Jerusalem. He trekked to Jerusalem. Am I communicating here? He trekked to Jerusalem. John 11. He trekked to Jerusalem. He trekked there. The next time he wants to go to Jerusalem, he said, I will not trek again. He said, go to the city over and against you. You will meet an ass that is tied. In other words, my level must change. And as he entered Jerusalem, you know what they said? People began to say, who is this? Who is this? When he trekked there, nobody said, who is this? As he brought a new chassis axe, people began to say, who is this? This December, somebody will say concerning you, who is this? Somebody will say concerning you, who is this? There is a who is this wedding? There is a who is this breakthrough? Who is that person I'm praying for here? Are you sure you are here? He needed to change level. Your level is changing. Oh. <laughs> I say someone's level is changing. Oh, his bar. I want to pray for you. You may be outside hearing me. You may be in the gallery. You want to say, Pastor, pray for me. I want Jesus in my life. So if you are that person, let me see your right hand up. I want to pray for you there. God bless you. You, your hand is up. Come here, let me pray for you. Jesus, you're the center of my joy. All that's good and perfect comes from you. Lift that hand up. All of you in front, say with me, say, Jesus, I come to you today. I realize I am a sinner. And I also realize I can't help myself. So from now onward, Jesus, be my Lord and personal Savior. I invite you into my life from henceforth. I renounce my sinful life from today. I decree, Jesus, you are now my Lord. Satan, any agreement I had with you, knowingly or unknowingly, I renounce it today. Jesus, have your way from today. Let me hear you say, Amen.